this is a HDMI modulator. The idea is you can put a HDMI device in, e.g. a Skybox or a Blu-ray player, something like that. It will go up to 1080p. The idea is it will broadcast the signal over coax. You can then tune that into your TV onto a terrestrial TV channel. Uh, so you can output it. It can go into an aerial splitter distribution system. So it could be distributed to several different rooms. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to unbox it. Then after that, I'm going to set it up. So I'll have one TV connected over the coax or aerial cable and one TV direct on HDMI to see what the difference is. All right, so instruction book first. Power supply. That's an IR out, so that's the remote control link that, that you would place at your device end, say your Skybox or whatever. So with the magic eye, like a Sky One essentially, that goes at the TV end. Uh, so you use your remote to that, it will emit the signal there to your Skybox or whatever device you've got. So pop those there for now. So this is the actual modulator, and you can see on there, it's got the RF in, so you could put your aerial signal into there first. Then your RF out, so that's the signal going to your remote TV. Uh, your HDMI in, so if it was your Skybox, you'd put your Skybox into there. And on the TV where the Skybox is, HDMI back out to that television. 12 volt in, and you've got your service port there to update the device, which they do say it's better with an update. It's got the infrared out there as well. And your 9 volt power that's for uh, the power to your magic eye so your remote control will work over the coax or aerial distribution so that's the front of the device we'll turn it on in a moment uh, main thing you do is just select the rf frequency channel that you're going to tune it into i think it'll be defaulted to 21 in our area our spare frequency it ranges from 21 to 69, but our spare frequency is generally 39 or 49, so I shall try 39 at first, and that's your menu for going through. Right, so I've got the device turned on and powered up, but first thing I'm going to do is set the RF distribution channel. So I go menu, and go OK for stream, do, 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 and it's the channel. So at the moment it is on 21, but that is not spare here, so 39 is my desired channel. And that is it, so channel 39 or 618 megahertz, so press OK and press menu to come out of it. So TV1, channel 39. Okay, I've actually connected it up so far, let's have a look at the back of it. So you can see there I've got RF out. RF out is going to my remote TV, so say that's the bedroom TV RF out is going to. RF in is the aerial signal from the aerial coming in. That's not essential, but by doing that, aerial signal goes in, through, back out, so it will carry our HDMI channel and our terrestrial TV channels. The HDMI one there is in from the skybox. So that's what I'm going to distribute to this RF out channel is the Skybox. HDMI out, that would go to my local TV. So say I've got my Skybox in the lounge, this device in the lounge, HDMI goes back out to my local TV. This RF out, that's going to distribute my Sky through the aerial cable to the bedroom. So for an example, you could also have this RF out here. That could go to a uh, four-way or eight-way, 16-way aerial distribution amplifier that way it could go up to 16 however many tvs you want and uh, so in one moment we'll tune this in and we'll, we'll tune the tv in and we'll have a look at the picture what i'm also going to do is have one direct on hdmi and one on um rf just to see what the difference in picture is and also i know the only issue with this box is there will be a slight input lag, so it could be up to a second, but we'll compare a TV on HDMI and a TV on the RF to see how bad the input lag is. I mean, for myself, I imagine if you're watching Sky or a DVD broadcast over this, it's not going to be an issue. The only thing you will notice is when you press your buttons on your Sky remote or whatever remote, 
it will take a second or so to see the results on screen. So obviously you couldn't use this for gaming, but for distributing any other products shouldn't be an issue. Right, so the RF modulator is set to channel 39. So what I'm going to do next is tune the TV in to pick up that channel. You could do it on auto tuning. I'm going to put it in manually because I've already got my free view channels there, but it's not a problem to do it on auto tuning. But I'm going to go manual and it's a digital channel. And I'll say new. So the number I want to input, oh God, can we stop the flickering? Let me get a different angle. Okay. So I'm going to put it to channel 39. And I'm going to search for that frequency there. So one channel has been saved. Okay, close the tuning menu. Exit there. And I think, let's have a look, is it 799? See the 799 or 800, it's channel 800. Okay, so I'm just going to exit there. But it's uh, put it to four by three as well, so I'll just change that. It should be on sixteen by nine. That's it. It's got a full screen picture there. Okay, so I'm just going to come back. So that's two televisions there. The one on the right is on HDMI, so that's a direct HDMI or HDMI. From the skybox into the modulator and loop back out to the TV on the right. The TV on the left, that's the RF from the modulator. To me on the human eye, I don't know if it shows up differently on the video, there's actually no difference there in quality. Uh, the only issue, like I said earlier, is going to be a delay. So with my Sky Remote, which is somewhere, let's have a look. So on my Sky Remote, if I go to change channel, we'll see the numbers appear. It says. You can see maybe a second delay. Let's try it again. Five, oh. But if I go to the TV guide. So maybe a second delay, but I mean, to me, that's fine. If I'm just watching TV upstairs, it's not going to make a difference. As long as I'm patient when I'm pressing the buttons, that's cool. So only other limitation on that device is your maximum input resolution is 1080p. Uh, so if you've got Sky Q, you could do use it for a Sky Q box, distribute Sky Q around your home in HD. But you're not going to get 4K, you'll just get it in 1080p, which to be honest, most of your TVs, it's going to be oh. fine. So, price-wise, these are about 127 quid off Amazon. There are other ones. I think there's an Eddie Max available, but it's not very good. It seems to go out on lip sync and other things. I tried some of the earlier ones of these a few years ago, and I think some of the early days ones we tried of these were near a thousand pounds. So, 127 pounds. It's a lot better than those early days ones. I will put some links below 